All right, this is uh, Prince DJ on the Big D Zone, and man, I tell you, if you think I was stressed out, I am. <laughs> wow. Anyway, this month has been so crazy, so, you know, with the memories, and uh, and then Christmas coming up, and then everything with the Taylor Swift and everything like that, instead of just talking about the cheese. I ain't... <laughs> I, I tell you, this is out of the, all the years that I, and I started when I was in St. Louis, out of all the years that I've done the NFL pickup, this is, without the shadow of a doubt, the strangest NFL pickup I ever conducted in the history of the Big D. And, and, Red Sox always getting involved now. That That is the reason why I always have Double Down in light of the fact that I also have Rider Dies now. <laughs> you can't even make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't have no, I don't have no town hall. I ran out, and I gotta wait till after New Year's to get a new town hall. So I'm gonna be suffering so a bit. So um, hopefully it'll be a lot better once I get some town hall. So yeah, it's been a crazy stressful month. But anyway, anyway, now you all know why I don't like uh. A lot of Christmas music now because it'll get me thinking uh, of my late wife. Not only now, Telephone and, and Travis K is making me think of uh, the, uh, my late wife because, um, you know, they're romance, but now I got to contend with Christmas music on top of that. So Monday is all, Monday, Christmas Day is already going to be crazy for me enough. And I don't know. I don't know. But I was, uh, Thinking about all day, well, not all day, but I was thinking about it when I got up uh, by a scare on my phone that my storage was full, which woke me up out of a deep sleep after I had to fight for it in a wrestling match. <laughs> uh, I had my own miracle on 34th Street match. But anyway, uh... Yeah, I was I was just asleep, and then next thing you know, the notification was. I was like, "Who notified me this late?" Storage. I said, "Oh God, here I go getting paranoid and everything like that." And it took a long time. For, it took a long time for me to fix it because I had to. I had to do the show. I'm doing week sixteen now, and and I'm I'm pre-recording. The aftermath for another day because it's it's a stressful month. It's really a stressful month. Oh my god. And we got seventeen to eighteen plus the uh playoff and then the Super Bowl. Well first the playoffs will start with the wild card, of course. And then we got the rest of the playoffs and then we got the Super Bowl. I mean <laughs> Yeah. So, and then next year when I do the NFL pickup for those that the, uh, for those that listen to from, um, Spotify or anywhere else, I'm going to start doing, uh, season. So next year we'll be starting the, uh, 2024 NFL pickup season one. Yeah, I didn't do season because I, I, you know, I knew that I was going to do it for, you know, forever because I like doing it. I could follow NFL on the show because it's much more easier following week to week than following baseball, basketball, hockey, which has games every day. It, it, it's too hard for me, especially from the severe depression that I struggle with. It's 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 very hard. So that's why I do the NFL pickup because it's much more easier. You know? So, but anyway, anywho. So I was thinking about this Christmas uh, uh, Christmas song that I could do without going crazy and without needing any flood insurance. So I was thinking of the Christmas song that I could do for the NFL pickup. Uh, because there is games on Christmas Day and Christmas Eve too. So, uh, you know, let's try an experiment on the show with, I haven't written it out yet. I thought about it, but I haven't written it out yet. So... This is my own old to Christmas to the NFL. Here we go. It's the NFL Christmas. Time to be merry and bright. It's the NFL Christmas. 
Practice to get the game fight. Whether it be white or sunny. Maybe rainy too. Will your team get a good win? Or a call of a lot? If the NFL pick up, may your Christmas be fine. And Merry Christmas from the Big D down. If the NFL pick up on the Big D down. Okay, okay, let's spread to that. And without crying, because I allow. Mind you, I did not use a traditional Christmas song. I was thinking about, I almost think about the doing the uh, I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas because I hate that song. Because I live in a place for some time, you know, I lived back then. Um, when I used to live in the Northeast and when I lived in St. Louis, I lived in places where it's fitty fitty. Sometimes it does uh, rarely get snow on Christmas. Oftentimes it always gets snow after the holidays. After the holidays. And I was just talking to Chief Justice about it like a couple of days ago. I was like, oh, it's always seen to happen. And, and then uh, it was the same way. So, it's weird. So, uh, Ben Crosby's White Christmas is banned in uh, Big D Country. At least I don't get to cry about it, because, but I just hate it with a passion. <laughs> I really hate that thought with a passion. Oh my god. Dreaming of a white Christmas and then sometimes it just don't happen. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Really? Alright. Let's just start with the uh, Christmas action of the game. Alright, so uh, tomorrow's action, uh, which is the uh, Thursday Night Football. And we got a right or die because the Saints got to play the Traders, the Rams. Yeah, the traitor, the one that left St. Louis and, and then left us without a football football team. And and then when you're in uh, St. Louis, Missouri or Springfield or any other, anywhere else in Missouri, got to go all the way to Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City uh, to cheer for the Chiefs. Anyway, yeah, that's why the Rams are banned. Although they did have that good movie that I never, I never got a chance to see uh, when the Rams. No, I, I I saw it, but I never got a chance to finish it. That's why, because when I was coming back from from a convention, I saw the movie, and it, funny enough, as soon as I was landing in St. Louis, they were showing where uh, the uh, the 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 main character in the story was being uh, selected to play for the back then the St. Louis Ram after coming from. Um, uh, minor league football. Yeah, minor league football. That's what it was. Uh, I still can't believe I had to cry at that romantic moment where the kids actually, actually helped out with the main character's engagement to the love interest. And I was like, oh, God. I, I was like, just get back to the football. Just get back to the football. If I, if I do watch that movie again, I gotta remember the fast forward part because that that was, and the kids sang the couple's song. That 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 hurt. And here comes Travis K and Taylor Swift. Yeah. So as you can see, this is why this month has been so stressful. All right, but in other words. You know who I'm going with with this ride or die? I am going with the Saints. I ain't going with the Saints all, all in on the Saints on that one. All right. Well, now, these are the... Oh, m wait a minute. Okay, so now not only that there's games tomorrow, so we got another set of Saturday's games that confused me during the other week. It's Saturday, Sunday... And Monday. Yeah, two on Monday. Yeah. Oh, I'm confused. This 
Yeah, I'm confused. Yeah, because there's a 12 o'clock game, and then there's a 3 o'clock, uh, 3.30, uh, 3.30 game, and then there's a 7.15 game, a 7 game, all on Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve and day. I mean, Christmas, yeah, there's a, ah, so, so, so confusing. It's so confusing. But anyway, let's just get to the rest of the, uh, NFL pickup, shall we? All right. Now, uh, all right, so here is one of my uh, double down uh, picks, or a couple of them. No? Okay. The Bengals versus the Steelers on Saturday. Wow, Saturday's uh, starting night to, not too late, because Saturday game is at 3.30. Because last week, they confused me. They had a Saturday game at 12, uh, something after 12. So... They confused me then, but uh, Saturday it's only an afternoon and an evening game. Okay, but anyway, uh, heads is going to be the Bengals. The Steelers is going to be the tail. But no matter what, whoever wins on the double down, the show wins too. Okay, the Saturday night, night Saturday evening um, matchup will take uh, the Bills and the, and the uh, L.A. Chargers. Ride or die, ride or die with the Bills. Oh, by the way, yeah, that's the Chief Justice team, by the way. And they did, they had to have that controversial ending, which I will get to in week 16, where the ref uh, took away uh, the Chiefs' touchdown. And then Patrick Mahomes, I'm going to talk more about this, but Patrick Mahomes, um, you know, got heated with the ref, so they wind up, he wound up getting fined. So you can't talk about the ref. You can't talk about the ref when they made a bad call. Since when did this start? What next? There's gonna be no fighting in hockey anymore. Wow. All right, but anyway, I'm easily going with the uh, Chiefs Justice favorite team, the Bills. That's easy. That's gonna be easy out. All right. <sighs> The Sunday's games, Christmas Eve. Uh, well, the eve of uh, the afternoon of Christmas Eve and Christmas Eve. Who opens Christmas Eve game? None other, none other than the team with the stupidest name in all of professional sports. That is not even scary. Is the Commanders? They ran out of the team name because they had to get rid of a team name because they was uh they was uh you know they were forced to to, to get a new team name and they ran out of team name. What happened to the Tigers? What happened to Well, I know the Bears are taken and the Lucky Lions are taken. But uh anyway I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But they're left with the commanders. They're left with the commanders. So, you know, I'm not picking them. But, I am telling you this. I will be picking J E T S, Jets, Jets, Jets team, even without Aaron Rodgers. Yes, I said it. Even without Aaron Rodgers, I'm picking the Jets. There you go. Ride or die. Oh boy, is this gonna be a Christmas of ride or dies? Is this gonna be a wait? Should I say it's a Christmas of ride or die? Oh my God, really? Cause I was just talking about them. The next game is gonna be the Lions versus the uh, the Vikings. I'm not choosing the Lions. I'm choosing Vikings. Instant ride or die. All right. This is going to be a difficult one. This is to putting up one of my teams um, in the NFL versus the resilient Brown because sometimes they have found a way to win games, and they have been on my double down a lot this uh this season. So this is going to be a difficult double down trying to place where you know the uh the teams will be, but. What makes it easier, the team that the Browns are facing, is the Houston Texans. 
So therefore, I'm putting the home team at the head and the brown at the tail. There you go. All right. Um, the Green Bay Packers will get face the Panthers, and I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going with the Panthers because what they did to the Houston Texans, and it made the referee let them do a field goal all over again on the fourth quarter. I still can't. I still can't believe that. And that, this was when I was still at the work group. Uh, come on. Anyway. Another rider die. I'm going with Green Bay. Another rider die. I mean, I did have a rider die in Thanksgiving. Now I was able to get that. I think I picked Green Bay before Thanksgiving. They still won. Anyway. Uh, by the way, a lot of these games are 12 o'clock, and I think we got one more 12 o'clock uh, after this matchup, which is the Seahawks versus the Titans. Now, this could be a double down. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to give the Seahawks the uh, head position, and I'm going to give the, their tail position to the Titans. Tails, Titans, get it? Anyway. All right. Colts versus uh, Pe uh, Falcons, and this is the last uh, afternoon game on Christmas Eve. Uh, so you got a mixture of uh, Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve afternoon games. Uh, the Colts will be the head, and the Falcons will be the tails on this one. In the 305 matchup, getting close to where. Uh, now, here's another question. Will Santa be in some of these games? You know, I'd rather see Santa than Taylor Swift, and it get me thinking about uh, my late wife. I'd rather see at least see Santa in the game or somebody posing as a reindeer in the game than Taylor Swift. As a matter of fact, I will tell you this. Now, the fans, I heard the fans in... Uh, uh, not Gillette Stadium. The the the, the stadium that the that the crazy pack play. The fans booed Taylor Swift. And yeah, I, I you know to, to be honest, I can't even enjoy a cheese cliff, or you know like a small clip of the cheese game. And then every time I turn around, I'm seeing Taylor Swift because I told you in a couple weeks of. Uh, I, the, the, I had a secret crush on Taylor Swift, but then it was brought out when, um, you know, everybody was talking about Taylor Swift and, um, and then Taylor Swift and, uh, Travis, and then, you know, the concert, and then, the, and then coming to the game, that they got a yada, and I think it was a birthday, yeah. And Travis, if you're going to get a gauge, get a gauge with your Christmas. Get it over with because it's already going to be a crazy day on, on that Monday. Get it over with. Y y well, now nah, I can't do it because I don't have the source. I was looking for the source before coming on here. And I don't do anything without uh, without sources. So, but anyway. Uh, what a stressful 2023. I tell you. I tell you. I'm ready for January. Aren't you? Anyway. The Jaguars is going to be on a ride or die comeback with the Buccaneers, the 305 game. I'm picking the Jaguars. I'm all in. All in on the Jaguars. All right. 325 game. The first one will bring you the Cowboys and the Dolphins. And, of course, since the Cowboys are one of my teams, I got to put them in the head position, and the Dolphins are the tails. And I will never, ever forget the Dolphins had 70 to, I believe it was either 20 or 10 over the Denver Broncos. I will never forget it as long as I continue to do the NFL pickup or this podcast in general. I will never forget when I saw that 70 score. I thought I, was, I thought I saw a typo. I thought I do typos a lot. But I I, I, I really thought this was uh, going down a rabbit hole. 70 to either 10 or 20 over the Broncos. I, I still can't believe that. No. No way. But it actually happened. It actually happened. 
All right. Uh, the Cardinals versus the Bears. The dog talking about. So, Cardinals will be head. The Bears will be the tail. Ah, speaking of the devil. Um, Christmas Eve action is. Br- now, why? Why does it have to be a Christmas Eve game? Does it have to be the Patriots and the Broncos? Does it? Does Santa have to ride? Does Santa have to ride on a sleigh? Right at the Bronc, uh, the uh, the Patriots be playing the Broncos. Are you serious? Are you? Why Christmas Eve have to be the Patriots versus the Broncos? You just can't make this stuff up. Uh, but anyway, I'm going with uh, Broncos ride or die. They need that. They need that little revenge, and I hope they get the revenge. Uh, uh, I hope they get that Christmas Eve win over the past. Just like uh, well, I'm not gonna say it because I still got to do uh the aftermath for the next the following week. <laughs> I can't say yet. <sighs> anyway, now this. It's going to be a toss-up either way. Christmas Day afternoon. Well, after the... F- I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it because it's going to give me flashbacks, so I'm not going to say it. But anyway, anyway, uh, Christmas afternoon will be the first game on that day. It's going to be two of my teams... Yeah, the only good part, the only good part of that that thing is, uh, of being the first game of Christmas is to my team. So, either way, it's still a win-win because the Raiders will be playing the Chiefs. And I can't decide which one to put at the head or the tails. I mean, they're both my team. Well, because I, I, I usually like to go to Las Vegas when I used to go. The other is where I lived at for three years, and then and then everything like that. Um, and it was my team then, and it's still my team now. <sighs> you know what? I got it. I got it. I got it. I have to pick the Chiefs the head, and I have to do the Raiders the uh the tail. But I still win, and it's still a double down, and it's still both my team, so that's good. So. Either way, I come out a winner, and the show come out a winner. All right, three thirty. The Giants will be taking on the Eagles. It should be good. It should be a good afternoon Christmas Eve uh, matchup. But then again, guess what? Uh, I think there's a uh, um, Travis K's brother is playing on the Eagles. I think. Somebody from Taylor Swift family is playing on the Eagles too, if, unless I miss my guess. Maybe the Chief Justice will remind me of that, that too. But um, but anyway, yeah, Taylor Swift is the Eagles fan, so yeah, I guess the uh, I guess the the um afternoon game she can root for the Chiefs, and the afternoon game and the, the other afternoon game she can root for the Eagles. So oh boy, uh, uh so. Anyway, the Giants will be the heads, and the Eagles will be the tails. I have rendered my verdict. Giants, heads, Eagles, tails. And the final game of the night is at 7.15. Monday Night Football will be the Raven and the 49ers. East Coast versus West Coast. Baltimore versus San Francisco. So, well, since I'm in uh, Midwest, I'm going to go in order. I'm going to go with uh, 49ers to be the head, and the Ravens will be the tail. And there you have it. Oh, wait. Did I do that that long? Oh, shoot. I hope it will fit the video. But that's your NFL pickup. Yeah. Merry Christmas, I hope.